What's going on, people? I'm back. You see, the Bible says, he said, I will give you a peace. Not as the world gives peace, but my peace will I give to you. I give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. Do you understand what that means? A lot of people ain't going to even understand why you still going. Why you do this? Why are you not giving up? Why haven't you fainted yet? I would have been gay evil. I would have been quit. But the thing is, it, it ain't meant for most to understand. Because most people ain't going to understand. They're not. No matter what you tell them, they are not going to understand how you're still strong in certain situations. How are you still going? I didn't heard it before. Somebody told me one day, probably yesterday, you know, Houston, a lot of people would have gave up by you or would have been passed out by now. And I'm like, I've been there. I've been in situations where I was just ready to just, it destroyed me. You know, that time I was talking about prison, when I got out, I was destroyed for about two years. About two and a half years, I didn't, I was just, I wasn't myself, man. But one thing I didn't stop doing was calling on God. So when I went through something similar like that the next time, it was easier. And then the next time, easier. It gets easier and easier. Because you put your trust in who? The most high God. You understand? It's not that you ain't going to go through the same things that you're going to suffer. It's best to suffer as a Christian. Not as an evildoer or a busybody in other man's affairs. Only affairs you're suffering for is God's affairs. And it's easy. And God said he'll make it easy for you. And worth it. If you faint not, and then you're going to grow stronger and stronger spiritually. Every battle, you're just going to get stronger. Now, how many people leave jail praising, not the fact that they got out of jail, or how many people got beat up praising, not the fact that they got beat up just to praise, they got beat up for Christ, for doing what Christ commanded of you. I'm going through this because I, thank you, Jesus. I'm for real, just get up. Don't talk about God no more. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm going to keep talking about God. And you're going to keep listening. And you're going to keep persecuting me. And I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to keep going like the Energizer Bunny. You understand? But then think about it. Our energy, energy don't come from a lithium battery. It's come from a battery that's connected to a source. It's called God. And got to get a son and a Holy Spirit. A, a never-ending battery that never runs out of power. And then when you got you connect to the source, you get power in all kind of different areas. You get random strangers come up, hey man, don't 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 do this. You might be fighting against God if you do this. You got an angel. Get out of here. You understand? You got help in somebody, you go to people's houses. Hey, just give me some bread. Oh what? All, all I got enough bread to do is make it for my kids. Hey, just do I command you. The Lord sent me to you. You won't run out of meal. I got you. You understand? God got you. He sent me to you. And then you're going to end up blessing people along the way. And some people are going to end up getting cursed along the way. Because they're messing with the wrong people. Touch not my anointed. Let me tell you something. It don't tell you the consequences behind every person that went against the apostles. But look. But let me tell you one thing. If you are converted, take Paul. Paul, a persecutor of the church, of followers of Christ. But when he converted, he became a one of the persecuted. 